all those things and come back come back to the word of god let us receive the word of god this morning kartavante vachana namukku inda praavicha santoshathode kude ame nalle aadigalayittu vandu madangi povan thakkona kartavu sahayikkatte praise the lord hallelujah you know i was just thinking actually i am not done with psalm number 23 because i know that on thanksgiving day i was preaching uh, from uh, psalm number 23 it was um, the the the, atti- the the sheep's attitude of gratitude right and last sunday i was preaching in malayalam that it was it was uh, the 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 overflowing cup niranja eh? kaviyna pana paatram hallelujah so i personally believe that the heavenly god the almighty god is always speaking to the people because we have that close relationship with the shepherd jesus christ amen so we are the sheep and we have that close and intimate relationship with jesus christ but the thing is you know when you read that psalm number 23 you can see that the privilege to sheep that means you know we are all having different types of privileges in the presence of god as we are the sheep right i mean when you go through the i know that psalm number 23 is very very well i mean familiar uh, psalm for everyone and it is by hearted by many of our uh, kids and all our adults and all but the thing is you know even though many a times we are aware about that we have some privileges and we have the provisions from god as we are the sheep and the lord is the shepherd and all those things that we know at the same time the question is how much we are responding to the provisions of god amen hallelujah how much we are responsible and what are the responsibilities of a sheep as we are receiving the privileges goodness provisions protections from god hallelujah nammude kartavante sannithil ninnu etra anugrahangal praabikkana etra anugrahangal avade parinjirikkunnu ariyavo psalm number 23 lot of things are written there and i mean a psalmist david is saying that okay when I mean, god is filling me filling me filling me with this and that and giving and providing all these things and everything is done and everything is good hallelujah but at the same time the question is how much we are responsible for that and how we are responding to the shepherd when a idayinode nam engeniyan respond cheyyunnathu hallelujah and we are so happy that i mean you know every every sunday we are coming to the church and we are uh, we are praising god and we are saying we are giving our testimony that god i mean uh, uh, did in, uh, this in my life and god was providing me these and that and all those things but I mean, how much we are responsible to to god to respond to the lord respond to the shepherd hallelujah that's what we are going to think about this morning amen so the first thing that i would like to share with you is is yeah the first point we are privileged to have sufficiency okay we are privileged to have sufficiency you know in uh, uh, chapter 20, uh, uh, psalm 23 verse 1 it says that the lord is my shepherd i shall lord what what is the meaning of that the lord is my shepherd i shall not want yehova ende ide nagunna enikke mootundagiyalla the sufficiency okay so now there was there was there was a boy little boy he was uh, sharing his memory words one day and uh, he came to the came to the pulpit and he was sharing his memory words and he said the lord is my shepherd then again he said the lord is my shepherd again he said the lord is my shepherd how when did it happen how when did it happen how when did it happen he was saying on and on he was repeatedly saying that same sentence and he forgot to say the second sentence what is that i shall not what enikku muttundagilla ennulla karyam mathram parayan pulli vittu pogeyana pulli orma varunnilla ee kutti endu edu repeatedly he was saying ah, the lord is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd and he was the man scratching the head and saying what shall i say the next sentence and next sentence i don't know then somebody was saying that mone that is enough that is enough that means what if the lord is your shepherd that is enough that is more than enough hallelujah i mean so you shall not want anything if the shepherd is the lord hallelujah number 
ഹൃദയം നമ്മുടെ കർത്തവാണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ മറ്റൊരു കാര്യത്തിനും നമ്മൾ വേവലാതിപ്പെടേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല നമ്മുടെ ആവശ്യങ്ങളെല്ലാം തക്ക സമയത്ത് നിറവേറ്റി തരാൻ നമ്മുടെ സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവത്തിന് സാധിക്കും ഹാലലുയ്യ യഹോബൻ്റെ ഇടനാകുന്നു മോനെ അത് മതി ഇനി നീ ഒന്നും പറഞ്ഞില്ലെങ്കിലും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ മെസ്സേജ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ ഗാഡ് ഈസ് സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ടു ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ദോസ് വർ സിറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ഹാലലുയ്യ Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, so this is the thing that we need to, we need to, we need to think about. You know, we are sufficient enough in the presence of God because we are privileged to people to have everything, every provision from the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the first thing that I was thinking about. And the second thing, the second thing is we are privileged to have the real satisfaction. Hallelujah. What is the first point? just remind me next week okay i'll be asking because i'll be continuing the same message next week also maybe uh, point number 5 6 and 7 and 8 maybe so just remind me that and uh, what was the, what is the first point and second point first point is who we are who we are we are privileged to have the sufficiency ellathrum madhyayavanaya or idey nammada kude und sufficiency and the second point is we are privileged to have the real satisfaction verse 2 It says like this. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside quiet waters. Hallelujah. What do you mean? What do you mean? He says, 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 the arigale kenda nadathunu hallelujah so this is actually the the days of satisfaction that means you know the days of contentment so what we are expecting from our god almighty god the shepherd as we are the sheep we are always privileged to go to a place and to get the things from the presence of god whatever we need in this world right I mean at the same time even though even though this is the point you know even the god is providing even though the shepherd is providing everything what all the things that the sheep is in need i mean even though the shepherd is i mean providing all the things many a times we are not at satisfied the unsatisfaction or discontentment okay so many a times we are not content with what we have right we are not satisfied enough sometimes eh? the people of god we are not satisfied enough sometimes with what the lord is providing for us right you know many times we are saying oh i am not satisfied with that thing i am not satisfied with this thing then so some of the people are not satisfied with the church you know when uh, bobby brother was uh, saying that okay all the people those who are gathering here they are their fellowship is wonderful and he is enjoying that you know some of the people are saying oh they are not they are not satisfied the church and they will go to the another church okay they will they are seeking for the another church so i want that church okay this church i mean there is nothing so i am not satisfied with that church and i am going i'm searching for another church and going there okay so some people say that okay that church is not a perfect church so i don't go there i'll be going to another church hmm aa church endalla poornade ulla church alla athra pore i am vera church ku vanu paranju poguna aalkare so i can tell you one thing that if you are seeking a perfect church there is no perfect church in this world there is no perfect pastor in this world there is no perfect church in this world there is no perfect husband in this world there is no perfect wife in this world there is no perfect children in this world there is no perfect neighbor in this world there is no perfect friend in this world but only jesus christ is the perfect person when you make jesus as your shepherd hallelujah and everything is there you will be satisfied in of every moment of your life hallelujah praise the lord thank god thank god for the shepherd can you thank god for the shepherd hallelujah 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 you know somebody was saying if you if you're searching for a perfect church and going to another church what is happening there you know that church is that just must be the perfect church but when you go as soon as you reach there that per, that church becomes imperfect <laughs> perfect church pogunna aalkar nokki pogunna aalkar avada chennu kayyumbo aa nalla church endayittu therum perfect alla church aayittu maarunu see the problem is not with the shepherd the problem is not with the people of god but the problem is within 
when when we are not content with the things that we are receiving from the lord when we are not satisfied enough with the things that we are receiving from the presence of god when there there, there are many things lacking okay you know when i when i share about this uh, I, I, i i had a question last week for after my message after my message somebody was one brother was asking me uh, i was talking about uh, the the overflowing cup endana nerthe kavina parvathra okay those who were absent last week how can you get that message again hello go to youtube is it uploaded is coming is coming okay so every messages are uploaded in the youtube okay you can go there eternal life church of god you will get it there mm, okay you will get it there. okay anyway you know, uh, you know a little late i think uh, a little delay is there uh, so we will be uploading this week right okay so so go to there and you will see that you know i was preaching about overflowing cup okay niranju kavi in the pana vatram and i said uh, you know uh, many times the problem is uh, uh, we are always focusing to the material things and the worldly things and uh, uh, we are going after that always and we are not focusing on the spiritual things okay so one brother was asking me uh, pastor is there any any wrong with uh, uh, something that you know if you if you buy a buy a uh, expensive car it's a question okay if you buy, buy uh, so unfortunately i said okay about the bmw last week sorry for that <laughs> okay the people those are having bmw onnu vicharikkalla njan chumma or pair ende manasi vannundo paranjene ullu to so so his question is is there anything bad is there anything wrong uh, and i can add the um, uh, bens also okay <laughs> okay he was asking anything bad in buying the expensive car or um, having a bungalow the big bungalow or uh, and he was asking another question is there anything wrong uh, uh, when when we uh, do something for developing our business huh developing our business and earning more money earning more money uh, earning more money is there any bad is there any wrong in that never 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 there is nothing wrong in improvement in material things okay in wealth whatever it may be you can have everything as soon as possible get it get it okay but at the same time my answer is nothing wrong in all, or i mean uh, earning all those things at the same thing we should know how to balance the material blessings and the spirituality this is the problem you know this is the thing that the many of the many of the people are not thinking about eh? we don't know how to balance the spirituality and the material blessings okay there is nothing wrong in buying many other things the the, the expensive things at the same time we should know how to balance the spirituality and the the material things and material blessings okay the people are always focusing the material things and material blessings as the uh, the psalm number 23 in david says that okay he is filling me filling me filling me and the people are thinking that okay i mean god is filling me with all the all the material blessings and physical blessings and everything that's true that god is providing you and god is filling you with all those things and and but the, the question is how many of you are praying in the presence of god all oh are fill me with the power of the holy spirit how many of you pray for that hello can you pray for that amen the spirit of the lord this morning is telling you from the word of god that i mean we should know to how to balance the material things and material blessings and spirituality men don't focus more time and don't spend your more time and don't spend your more money for the material things than the spirituality and let us pray to the lord oh lord i need to be filled with the power of the holy spirit hallelujah and that should be our motive i mean at the end of this year i mean we are going to be we are going to enter into the new year i mean you can uh, how many can pray that hallelujah lord i need more power of the presence of god and i i need more power of the holy spirit to god I mean, let let all our children be filled with the power of the holy spirit hallelujah amen they are not knowing anything and they are just i mean living in this world but we need to pray for them that they will i mean they will be blessed and they'll be, be filled with the power of the holy spirit then and there only they will be able to i mean i mean i mean face the challenges of this world 
Hallelujah. 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 So that's what I'm saying. You know, when we are blessed with God's presence and when we are blessed with God's provisions materially, many times we are not satisfied. We are saying, no, no, no. I want more thing. I want more thing from this world. When, but how many of you are praying that, oh Lord, you know, there is a word in the Bible that Jesus said in the, the, the Mount Sermon that, I mean, those who are poor in spirit, they are blessed. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who are in poor in spirit. Okay. Atma will the retriever Bhagavan Mahar. So, Namaka Atma will end where they Someone around the Jericho is a Puma Atma and the Idonum. When you are directly to the Lavana, materially and Diricanum. Madi, Madi in the Vecca, the Kitty like a Madi in the Vecca, Hallelujah, in the Nether of Ari Coat and then go to Gondor. Then a prince in the Gather Gary, may log at the number of three Wari Coti, or three somebody, or three Bangi Kondito, Evita Kondua. Eh, I'm going to go down by two. If I want to theater till lay, and other Samayam, or at the event, or at the moment, Shakti in the, if you're a Pravik Yanagan under law, Hallelujah, then the Nabramare Tikada. Sorgati were a Tikin at the moment, Shaktiya, Namukav Shamala, he logged to the Bodhi and Nanmaraki, but I'm going to theater another. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So the second point that I would share with you is uh, the privilege. We are privileged to have the real satisfaction. I will, I'm going to share one more thing. I mean, uh, this morning that is that is the, the the third point. Third point that is we are privileged to have the proper guidance of God. Verse three. Verse three. We are reading there. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Hallelujah. So the restoration is there. Proper guidance of God is there, and He always leads us to the path of righteousness. Men, namrulla thre ani grahi ke patal kari logat bhare ariyulla. Inda God's direction we have. Hallelujah. No, there are there are points and there are times that we are facing that uh, the, the challenges that we are facing when we are going through the uh, troublesome situation. You know, yesterday I was just thinking uh, about uh, uh, Sophia and family, Jeffil and family, when we were having the the, the baby show program yesterday in their house. You know, I was just thinking how how much I mean troubles and how much struggles that they were going through in the previous days, right? You know, Chris was not feeling well. I mean, Jeffil was not feeling well. Sophia was not feeling well. Ajay was not there. But God's presence was there. Hallelujah. Every time, every moment, every moment when we are going through the struggles, hallelujah, remember we need the presence of God. We need the presence of God. We need the guidance of God. Hallelujah. Let us pray that, oh Lord, I need to be guided by the presence of God. Hallelujah. And let's be satisfied. You know, our responsibility is different. You know, the first point I was sharing with you that the privileges of uh, the privilege to have sufficiency. What is our responsibility? What is our responsibility? That God is providing all the blessings upon us and telling to God, Lord, I'm okay. I got enough. I got enough from this world. I mean, I have everything. I mean, be satisfied. I mean, be content with what you have. And others, the other side is, I mean, asking to the Lord, oh Lord, I need more spiritual blessings. Hallelujah. I mean, contentment is a blessing for the people of God. You know, we know that, you know, even though we are going through uh, the, the struggles and even though we are going through the, uh, the sickness or uh, many other challenges in our life, when we sit in the presence of God and, and spend few minutes in the presence of God, you are getting a peace, right? Hmm? You are getting a peace. You are getting a peace. Because when I mean, Jesus said that again, okay, I mean, you will have the troubles in this world. You have the troubles in this world. But don't be worried about that because I have overcome all the troubles of this world. You know, Jesus is the person who has been I mean, going through many troubles in his life. And he says that, okay, don't be worried about all those things. Amen. Amen. You know, Jesus said, okay, I have overcome the, 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 the world. So you be courageous and you be strengthened. I mean, so this is the word that I mean, Jesus was saying to the people. Even though we are going through the struggles in this world, I mean, we have the peace of God. And Jesus said, I am giving my peace to you. I am giving my peace to you even though you have the troubles in your, in your heart. Hallelujah. Even just before the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, Jesus said, I am giving my peace to you. 
Can a person have the peace in that way just before the crucifixion? No. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. No. Just before the crucifixion. Just before that he was going to be killed. And just before, I mean, uh, the, the time that he was going to be crucified. He said that, okay, I have the peace. I have the peace. And I know that you are also troubled now. Because I am leaving and who will take care of you? Yeah? That, is, that is the problem of the disciples. I mean, Sishnamaya Randhu Yari Chondi Thay. You three and a half years ago, you got to go down. But you move on. 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 Move they were asking. Disciples were asking. What are they going to give to us? What are you going to give to us? Hallelujah. 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 What are you going to give to us? Oh Lord, you are saying you are going. But what are you going to give us? Me pogu anandu nii parayinna karthavai jengal kenda anandata pone. Enda anandata pone. Jengal enda mitta We left everything and we are following you. And what are you going to give us? Before you go. Jesus said, I have nothing. But I have something that is peace. Of mine. Okay, yes, Christo and the Agaton died in the Ah Samadhana Tendido. She's not good. It's a boy in the Moka. It's a boy in the Moka to overcome the challenges. That is more than enough to overcome the challenges of this world. Hallelujah. That is more than enough to, I mean, overcome the struggles of this world. Hallelujah. What is our responsibility? Be content. Be content. Okay, be satisfied with what we have. I mean, what God has provided us and be sufficient enough with what God has provided for us. And thirdly, I was saying that we are privileged to have the proper guidance of God. That means, I mean, let us be under the guidance of God. That is our responsibility. Okay. As a sheep, as a sheep, I mean, be obedient. I mean, Satrik also was saying that. I mean, be obedient to the the guidance of God. Hallelujah. And you know that that uh, that is um, uh, very clearly that verse says that he leads me in the path of righteousness. And what is our responsibility? We are supposed to walk through that path. Do we have it? Do we have a responsibility? Yes. He is leading us. Right? He is leading us. The shepherd is leading us, but we are supposed to walk. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God is with there. And God is with you. And God's provisions are there. God's protection is there. God's guidance are there. But we are supposed to walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be disobedient in the presence of God. Don't be, uh, be rebellious in the presence of God. I mean, obey the commandments of God and, and obey the guidance of God. Be under the guidance of God always and He will lead you. The shepherd will lead you. We are privileged people. Hallelujah. I mean, if you remember that, we are the privileged people. We are privileged to have first one. We are privileged to have the sufficiency. We are privileged to have the satisfaction, the contentment, and we are privileged to have proper guidance of God. That is more than enough. Hallelujah. Let's pray together and let's pray that Lord, I mean, again and again, 